uh, talk, my talk, uh, talk topic is uh, about uh, how to construct the complete set of uh, operand basis for uh, massive fields with any spin uh, based on this tool work. Uh, this is my uh, collaborator. Uh, my, co my content, I will first uh, discuss about the massless amplitude basis, and then uh, discuss the massive amplitude basis. And finally, I will uh, discuss how to use the massive amplitude basis to construct the low density dimension massive amplitude basis uh, that can directly map to the uh, physical operator uh, uh, physical operator basis. Uh, I'll give some for the am uh, massless amplitude basis. Effective field theory has wide application in physics, such as high, uh, high energy physics, low energy Q, Q, QCD, and gravity dynamics in actual physics and uh, condensed matter. It, it is especially useful in um, uh, new physics search in particle physics, such as electric uh, uh, precision measurement, dark matter search, and flat physics. And now we, uh, now we don't see any new physics. Um, at the cloud, uh, this may indicate that the new fix energy scale is uh, too high uh, beyond our expectation. So it's possible that the GFP is the only theory to, to prove the imprint of new fix uh, for human being within a few decades. Generally, a complete EFP uh, uh, effective field theory contains two parts, uh, the, re uh, the renormalizable interaction uh, and uh, the renormalizable in action and high dimension operates for uh, um, for for generic EFT um, in in order to fully describe the low energy effects of any uh, arbitrary uh, UV theory, this high dimension operator basis should be uh, complete and independent. But in traditional uh, field theory constructing uh, this uh, complete and uh, independent operator basis is very difficult. Uh, generally, uh, constructing uh, operator basis, some operators are redundant uh, because of the equation motion and IBP uh, constraint. How to systematically eliminate the redundancy from the equation motion and IBP, uh, from the uh, equation motion and IBP is still a problem in traditional uh, field theory. Recently, a new method is uh, proposed that uh, it has a heavy theory, uh, serious uh, technique. But it can only count the uh, um, uh, base number, uh, uh, base number, and it cannot construct the explicit expression of the operator. So how to solve this problem? Um, we know that recently uh, a lot of progresses have been achieved in onshore scattering amplitude. It is very efficient in some EFT calculation and construction. For example, based on the uh, unitary cut. The Standard model EFT actually running can be uh, easily extract just through the two level amplitude calculation some and some operator uh, mixing uh, uh, sele mixing selection rule can be obtained based on the uh, unitary cut, which cannot be uh, easily explained by the uh, traditional uh, field theory. And it also very powerful in constructing the scalar EFT with some non-trivial soft limit. Uh, next, uh, I briefly uh, introduce the onshore uh, uh, scattering amplitude. In this series, the onshore scattering amplitude are the function of the Lorentz spin. These spin are decomposed from the uh, momentum matrix, uh, uh, the p mu dot uh, sigma mu. Sigma mu is uh, one plus the uh, poly uh, matrix. The square uh, spin uh, i is right handed, the angle spin is left handed. If the momentum pi is a massive, Massive is a little group is a non-building SU to I uh, group. And the massive spin uh, uh, a little group SU to I doublet. Uh, this capital I is uh, the doublet, uh, the little group index. This is a ma uh, massive uh, spin equation motion. Uh, this is the quantum number on the subgroup, on the sub, Lorentz subgroup SU to L plus U R SU to R and the little group SU to I. For massless cases, uh, the, the, the little group of massless spin G is, is U, uh, UNG. The right handed and the left handed spin take the negative and the positive unit uh, UN charge and transform uh, in this way. 
we can define the two kind of spin uh, uh, product and uh, uh, this two kind of spin product is the Roland scalar. So the uh, generally the on shell scalar amplitude are generally uh, are generally expressed in terms of the of this two kind of spin product. Okay. Amplitude construction uh, doesn't refer to uh, Lagrangian. Um, uh, actually, consistent amplitude structure is constrained constrained by the little group symmetry and the unitarity. Um, for a little group symmetry, if the uh, helicity of the external massless particle G is the uh, HG, uh, its amplitude should take a uh, minus uh, two HG unit uh, charge of a little group uh, symmetry UNG. If we define the polarization tensor epsilon, uh, epsilon, uh, epsilon HG, which takes the same uh, little group UN, G charge as amplitude, we can find that uh, it can be uh, uniquely uh, expressed in this form. This is for positive and this is for negative, uh, for negative helicity. <clears throat> Since the amplitude and the polarity tensor takes the same little group charge, the amplitude must be a linear function of the, uh, of the polarity tensor. The amplitude must be linear function uh, of polarity tensor. For massive, uh, for massive particle uh, I with spin SI, its amplitude should, should be in two SI indices uh, symmetrical representation of the massive group, uh, massive little group as SU2I. Uh, th uh, this is uh, two SI plus one dimension SU2I representation. Uh, if we still define the polarity tensor epsilon SI, that takes the same little, uh, same little group as u 2 i charge as the amplitude, we find that the polarity tensor expression is not unique and can be generally expressed uh, in this form. This is, uh, this, this is because the su 2 i fundamental representation is pseudo real. Uh, here, L i is the number of the left hand spinner, spinners in the epsilon SI. Polarity tensor epsilon SI with a different integer value of L i is equivalent. This is because the left hand spin and right hand spin massive spin are correlated by the equation motion. Equation motion. Similarly, uh, massive amplitude should be the uh, should be the also should also be the uh, linear function of the polarization and uh, tensor epsilon s i. Onshell amplitude is very uh, efficient uh, in constructing operator basis of massless uh, particle. It was found that uh, when operator basis one to one correspond to uh, correspond to uh, <coughs> correspond to uh, unfactorable amplitude basis. Uh, unfactorable amplitude basis means that the amplitude is just the the polynomial of some spin product. So so an uh, unfactorable and the basis of reference uh, independent local interaction. It's a physical meaning is, uh, is the same as the operator basis. So, uh, so this two kind uh, basis are equivalent. So uh, in order to, so now uh, in order to construct the complete set of operator basis, we can force the construct the amplitude basis and then map them, in, uh, then map them into the uh, uh, operator basis. A uh, massless amplitude basis construction is more efficient. First, uh, since the uh, massless spin uh, equation motion is very trivial, any non-zero massless amplitude basis is automatically free of the equation motion uh, redundance. Second, the uh, second the, uh, the 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 base uh, redundance from the IBP can be systematically removed by the UN global symmetry. Um, uh, here, the IBP redundance uh, IBP. Um, Constraint correspond to the momentum conservation constraint in amplitude uh, basis. Uh, in this work, they found that the amplitude basis without uh, IBP redundance uh, correspond to the uh, to the basis of some special UN representation. So the complete amplitude basis can be uh, constructed can be constructed by finding finding all these special uh, UN representation based on this theory. Um, a, a complete uh, set of massless operator basis can be constructed by the computer program uh, in, in this work. And, we, uh, and this, this cannot be achieved by the traditional uh, uh, field theory. 
okay, that, that's why I will uh, briefly uh, discuss how to systematically con uh, construct the uh, method uh, amplitude basis. The methodless amplitude basis constructing uh, uh, consists uh, consists of of these three parts. F part is charged on the methodless little group, which is determined by uh, the helicity of the uh, external legs. The G part is a little group neutral, so it is the polynomials of the minus stem variable as 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 I G. The G part is the gauge is the gauge structure, which is determined by the gauge symmetry of the external legs. Uh, an amplitude basis corresponds to the uh, to the leading interaction of a, uh, of an operator basis because the next leading interaction are determined by the leading interaction through the uh, uh, through the gauge symmetry. This is the reason why this this two kind of basis are equivalent. Generally, uh, to construct the complete basis basis of a theory, we should construct all the independent affect variable amplitude basis of any scattering process with, uh, with this kind of uh, structure allowed by the uh, uh, little group gauge symmetry and the identical particle statistic. For example, to construct uh, three uh, group amplitude basis, we, we, found, we, found that, uh, we found that there are only two possible scattering uh, process, uh, the all helicity uh, plus and all helicity minus uh, process. Um, each process only has one only has one consistent amplitude basis. So, uh, uh, like this. So, this two amplitude basis exactly correspond to the uh, to this three. Sorry. Oh. To the, uh, to these three to these three uh, group operand uh, in the Warsaw basis. So it's a, it's, a, it's very efficient to to construct the uh, amplitude basis. Um, so how to uh, remove, uh, re uh, systematically remove the IBP redundance? The IBP redundance in every basis with the N external legs can be removed by the global symmetry. Uh, uh, UN, UN is a global symmetry of the uh, massless spinners of the uh, N external uh, momentums. So, uh, so in, in this, uh, uh, through this embedding, the N little groups can be uh, correctly embed embedded in the, uh, in the UN. Because, because you can uh, contain n, uh, you, n, you, you one. The right handed spin and the left hand spin are embedded in the uh, fun, uh, fundamental and any fundamental representation of you. Uh, this is a quantum number on the uh, on the roller group and the global you group. <coughs> Based on this embedding, a semi standard uh, young tablet of uh, UN representation corresponds to, uh, uh, correspond to a spinner polynomial. Uh, here are the UN semi, uh, uh, semi standard young tablet. The young tablet with uh, subscript uh, R and L uh, is the uh, Lorentz subgroup SU to R and SU to L young, young diagram. Um, the, young, the young diagram uh, filled with the number is the UN semi standard young tablet. Since the permutation symmetry of your indices in, in is correlated uh, with the uh, as you uh, with uh, with the Lorentz uh, subgroup indices, so uh, the so the your your tableau can uh, fully uh, determine uh, the Lorentz uh, index in, in index contraction. And um, for example, uh, so uh, in the first uh, we can look at the first young tableau, the um, your eyes and Gs in index should be uh, should be. Uh, Anti-symmetrical, so so uh, so is the Lorentz index of these of these two spinners. Then we find that the two watt uh, box uh, uh, the event column correspond to a uh, correspond to a, a square spinner product. Similarly, the the n minus two uh, blue box event column correspond to a, uh, to an angle uh, spinner product. Uh, here, the uh, box associated with uh, left-handed spinners are always, are always in blue in order to dis distinguish with the uh, white box associated with the uh, right-handed spinners. Uh, next, I, I will discuss how to remove the RPP results if a set of, if a set of polynomial which are mm -hmm. 
Weet je, aan Galomatica. Ah, ik was daar al een paar keer bij Galomatica, van die aan de Hannes Linus, of Lef Hannes Linus, en de volgende is, ja, je redt het voor de representatie, ah, ah, like this, and like this. This is a polynomial uh, uh, independent. This is, this is obviously since there is no momentum factor in this uh, polynomial, a um, momentum conservation uh, redundance cannot, uh, cannot appear. Uh, the, shape, the shape of what the UN, John Tablo and the SU2 are, John Tablo are always the same because they are uh, indices uh, correlation. Further now, further now, holomorphic case. The spin of poly, uh, polynomial are generally in a uh, UN reducible representation like this. It was found that only the polynomial in the fourth stage reducible representation are independent of this. The reducible representation is obtained by just uh, gluing the uh, uh, blue yang, yang, yang diagram with the, with the white uh, yang diagram with the other changes are uh, that shit, that shit. So the, the polynomial in the other, in other uh, uh, irreducible Irreducible representation always contain a momentum factor uh, that is uh, always contain a total momentum factor that is zero. So in this way we can in this way we can systematically uh, construct uh, the complete set of empty basis without worrying about the RBP returns. Uh, next I will uh, discuss how to construct the massive uh, basis, uh, massive empty basis. <clears throat> um, uh, so far, the massless uh, operator based construction has been fully solved. But for massive case, the operator construction is still uh, not solved. And more challenging than massless case, uh, moreover, the, yeah, the effect field theory of massive fields uh, with spins uh, has uh, a lot of application in particle physics, such as the, the Higgs uh, EFT, it can describe the low energy effects of some UV theory that cannot be described by the uh, standard model EFT. And, uh, uh, and the low energy uh, QCD, uh, dark matter EFT, and uh, low energy EFT are, are, all, are, all, are, all the, uh, are all the massive EFT. Um, and uh, the massless EFT is not concise in describe the fix at the electric uh, break. Uh, Break, uh, break phase, break phase. For example, there are, there are a total seven operators for three massive gauge bottom, but in, in standard model EFT, uh, there are infinity operators in this form uh, contributing uh, to this interaction. Constructing amplitude basis of massive fields is more difficult because the amplitude basis can have both equation motion and RBP redundancy. The equation motion redundancy can be generated because the massive spinner equation motion is not trivial, the rather side is not, not zero. So uh, here is some works, uh, did some primary exploration in this problem, but they still cannot solve it. Solve it. Uh, next, uh, uh, so next uh, I will discuss how to fully solve this problem in two steps. <coughs> Generally, the scattered amplitude with M massive and N massless external legs uh, can be um, factorized into uh, these two uh, parts. The massive little group tensor, uh, tensor structure A part is the only charge on the massive little group. And the massive little group neutral charge uh, part, uh, G part, is only charged on the uh, massless little group. A part is required to be the holomorphic function of right-handed spinners. Uh, this, is, uh, this, this can always be done because uh, uh, the left-handed spinner can be changed into the right-handed spinner by, uh, by the equation motion. Yeah. We can find that under this condition, the expression of the massive spinners, um, a massive polarization, an uh, efficient SI is fixed in this form. Um, it is, uh, we found that it is also uh, in the two SI plus one representation of Lorenz subgroup SU2R. Here, uh, here, here we, uh, we want to emphasize again that epsilon is a polarizing tensor of massive particle I with spin SI. Since A and epsilon uh, I are in the same uh, uh, little group SU2R, uh, SU2, uh, SU2I representation, so A is a linear function of epsilon uh, SI. Uh, a is a uh, see, uh, A is a holomorphic function 
of the right hand spin, so it it cannot have the equation motion and IPV uh, reliance. Um, we can easily find that the G part is a function of the massless spin and the massive and the massive momentum because it is a neutral on the massive massive uh, little group. Uh, G, um, uh, since the G part has a momentum factor, so it can both have it can have uh, both equation motion and RBP redundant. Um, the complete set, the complete set of massive amplifiers can be constructed through this uh, proposition. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we can force it, uh, since the amplitude basis can be factorizable into two parts, A part, G part, so can we, so we can force the construct a complete set of A basis and G basis separately, and then contract these two bases to get a set of uh, amplitude basis. And we found that these amplitude bases are, in, are independent with other any redundancy. So uh, we, uh, we also found that uh, we also find that the A, A and G bases can be system, systematically constructed by the Lorentz subgroup SU2R and the UN uh, global, uh, global uh, symmetry. And next, uh, I will explain uh, uh, why. Uh, why. Since uh, A is uh, uh, the linear function of the uh, uh, polar intensive efficient SI, and uh, efficient SI is in the S two S two I plus one representation of uh, uh, of SU two R. So any A must be in the uh, in this uh, in this reducible representation of the M massive polar intensive. Here M here M is the number of the external legs. So if a uh, massive little group has a uh, uh, structure uh, in the SU2R is reducible representation, uh, which is decomposed from this reducible representation, yeah, it, it must be the, uh, it can be the A part basis. So the complete set of A basis can be constructed by finding all the SU2R irreducible representation decomposed from the uh, SU2R reducible representation of all the uh, massive polarization times the usual SI. Uh, this is an example of the massive little group time structure. A basis of fermion fermion PG boson scalar interaction can be systematically uh, through, 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 through this way. Uh, this is a uh, SU2R representation of their uh, polarization tensor. Uh, the formula, uh, that, 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 that problem is the formula, so the power in tensor Lorentz, uh, uh, tensor Lorentz uh, symmetry is, uh, is uh, the fundamental, is, uh, is the tablet. This is a vector, so it is a Lorentz triplet. <clears throat> then we can decompose the out, out product of this, of this, of uh, uh, here the dot is, is a singlet, uh, since the H is a scalar, so it's part of the tensor is the trivial star. <laughs> Then we can decompose the outer product of this uh, uh, SU2R representation and get a full uh, irreducible SU2R, uh, uh, full irreducible SU2R representation. This, this, call, uh, this full uh, representation uh, corresponds to a full complete A basis. The A basis can be easily read up from this young tablet according to the permutation symmetry. Of the of this SU two R in indices. Oh, also sorry, I I I forgot to mention that. Uh, um. Uh, okay, actually, actually the the the, the box uh, the box field a number uh, is just to uh, lab to lab the 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 index of different uh polar intensity. So yeah, so you can you can easily read the. Uh, you, you can easily read uh, which uh, uh, the, the contraction between the policy intensity. So uh, according to the uh, permutation symmetry of the uh, policy intensity, uh, policy intensity in, uh, Lorentz index uh, contraction, uh, 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 you can uh, uh, easily read out the, uh, the uh, A basis expression. So this is the explicit expression of A basis contract from the first, uh, first young tableau, like this. It's very easy to contract. <clears throat> uh, here is the general property of the uh, massive little group uh, neutral structure, and it's a spinner constraint. 
um, first uh, the metal little group, uh, uh, metal little group nuclear structure should be SU2L singlet, and G part should be always uh, uh, should be a little group neutral, and it should take the correct little group charge. Uh, uh, this is uh, the spin normal constraint. Uh, I will discuss about this. The G part can uh, have both the equation motion and RPP redundancy. In order to get, get rid of the equation motion redundancy, we can first construct the basis of the G massless limit, uh, small g. The small g equal to the limit of the G that all its massive momentum go to massless limit. Since G is a massive little group neutral, so small, small g uh, is well defined. Since the small g is, uh, can be treated as the massless amplitude, the complete set of small g bases can be constructed by the UN representation as discussed before uh, to, uh, to uh, re uh, eliminate the IBP redundancy. Then the small g bases can, uh, can be uh, one, to map, one to one mapped into the uh, massive uh, g bases by uh, re removing, by recovering, uh, by, uh, um, by recovering the Uh, can, uh, we can map, map it into the uh, uh, G, uh, <coughs> band one map it to the uh, massive G basis by recovering the massive moment from the uh, massless limit to uh, eliminate the uh, equation, to uh, equally, e eliminate the equation motion. And the G, G basis constructed uh, through, uh, in this way, are all independent, uh, this is because if some G bases are not independent, it, it, it also means that the massless limit uh, should, uh, should be uh, uh, not independent, but the massless small G bases uh, is, is independent, uh, which is guaranteed by the UN symmetry. So, the, so uh, finally, the G bases co co construct in this way are uh, independent without the IBP and the equation motion uh, redundancy. <coughs> When massless G basis always correspond to correspond to a uh, one independent massive G basis, uh, this is because if two massive uh, G basis have the have the same uh, massless limit, it means that the uh, the difference the difference between uh, these two G uh, must be proportional to a, a mass factor. However, the mass factor is only from the equation motion, so. Uh, so, so, so it means that this two massive G basis uh, is correlated by the equation motion. Uh, it, mean, it, 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 it also means that only one massive G basis is, is independent. The other massive G basis with the same massless limit are redundant. So the completeness of massless G basis can guarantee the completeness of massive G basis. The, uh, this is a general uh, shape. Uh, this is a general shape of the small uh, G uh, G basis on tableau. Uh, since the G basis is S, is S U two R tensor, so uh, in some columns there's only one white box represent the uncontracted uh, right hand spin. The number of uh, this kind of box should be equal to the number of the uncontracted right hand spin in A basis in order to uh, uh, in order to get a uh, in order to get uh, 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 the right uh, uh, Lorentz scale after the A basis and the G basis contract, contracting. <clears throat> after contract, the A basis with, uh, with the corresponding G basis, a set of amplitude basis can be, can be obtained. We can prove that the amplitude basis are, are independent. For case one, uh, if two amplitude basis have different A, A, A basis, since the, the two A bases are, are, are two independent uh, massive little group tensor, uh, this is because the A takes two kind of tensor, Lorentz uh, takes two index, Lorentz index, and the little group index. So it is a uh, uh, two independent massive little group tensor. Uh, this, so it means that these two empty bases should also be two independent massive, massive little group tensor. So, Obviously, these two kind, these two amplitude bases are independent. For case, uh, for case two, if some amplitude bases have the same have the same A basis, and we suppose that uh, um, uh, if uh, if this amplitude basis uh, to be uh, dependent, 
So we can find that uh, the, the, the combination of these bases should be zero. This also indi indicates that the combination of these G bases should be zero, since these G bases are independent. Uh, so the, this, this identity cannot be satisfied. So the empty basis with the stem um, A base basis should be uh, independent. So we fully prove that the empty basis construct uh, in this way uh, 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 total, uh, totally independent without any uh, redundancy. Here, uh, here is a sim sim uh, simple, uh, very simple example for con systematically constructed empty basis for uh, three uh, vector gauge boson. Similar as before, the power of the intensity of a massive vector is SU2 uh, triplet. Um, a basis can be constructed through the uh, decomposing the outer product of the, these three uh, SU2 R triplet, uh, SU2 R triplet. <clears throat> And then we get, and then we get seven uh, A bases in the uh, in the seven in the seven irreducible SU two R relation. And then we found that each A basis only have one G basis. So so the con the conclusion is that there there are a total seven uh, operate for for the uh, three metal uh, vector. This is consistent with uh, the conclusion in this work. The reason why uh, why the G basis is uh, is finite uh, is that uh, we cannot find a uh, valid use use three Young tableau uh, with two uh, what uh, uh, with two what uh, rules. Uh, this is because uh, the the blue column that's is is the only one. It's a uh, mass is one. The fake reason is that the uh, the um, um, it's a, a minus stem variable is trivial uh, in a, a three a three point amplitude. Okay, uh, next I will uh, discuss how to get the lowest matching and massive uh, amplitude basis to uh, that can directly map into the uh, operator basis. Now we, ha we have a complete set of massive amplitude basis AG in, in hand, but we cannot directly uh, map these bases into the uh, physical operator basis because their dimension uh, do not match. In other words, their polarization uh, tensor uh, do not match. For example, uh, the four point four point uh, four uh, two formula two scalar uh, interaction has uh, has two dimension five operator basis uh, like this. Uh, the first one is the AG basis. Because the spin uh, tensor is in the right hand uh, spin, uh, right hand spin. <clears throat> but the second one is not since uh, this is because since the polarizing tensor of the AG basis are, holomo are chosen to be the holomorphic function of square uh, spin uh, AG basis, so AG basis cannot contain the basis with the angle with the angle spin in the polarizing tensor. Generally, uh, this kind of basis is a uh, uh, combination. The combination of the AG basis with the high dimension, like uh, with uh, with high dimension, like this. Uh, similarly, the AG basis cannot directly be mapped into the, into the operator involving uh, ma uh, massive KG boson uh, uh, fields a, a mu and uh, a mu and the negative polarizing uh, fields strings f f minus a mu. The critical uh, issue is that. The angle uh, spin uh, i uh, part of, uh, in the polarizing tensor is expressed by the uh, p uh, p i dot uh, square uh, dot the square spin uh, i in a g basis that uh, makes the a g uh, basis uh, dimension high than the uh, operator basis. <coughs> to solve this problem, we should. Have uh, we should find a, com a set of uh, lowest dimension amplitude basis that can directly uh, map into the physical operator basis. Uh, here, the lowest dimension uh, amplitude basis are the basis that that dimension cannot be further reduced by the equation motion. How to do it? Uh, the basic idea is very simple. We can first uh, systematically construct a redundant but, uh, but a complete set of uh, um, 
amplitude basis that can always contain a complete set of lowest dimension amplitude basis. Since uh, A bases are complete and independent, we can then decompose the, this redundant uh, CF basis into AG basis, uh, AG basis from a uh, dimension low to high. And then uh, remove the uh, linear correlation basis according to their coordinates in the AG space. Through this approach, uh, we can always get a complete set of lowest. Uh, dimension amplitude basis. <clears throat> um, since uh, AG bases are always complicated and they, uh, they are a long polynomial of the spin product because uh, the horizontal permutation in, in their young table for, for the decomposition convenience, we, we find that a complete set of much simpler BH basis can be constructed from the AG basis standard, uh, standard, uh, semi standard Young Tableau without considering the current permutation symmetry. These two kind of uh, basis, these two set of basis are equivalent. This is because when Young Tableau of the G and the A basis without, without current uh, permutation correspond to an independent H and, and B basis. After H and B, uh, basis contraction, the BH basis are definitely independent since the number of the AG basis and the G basis are the same. So this two kind of basis should be uh, equivalent. Without the horizontal permutation symmetry in BH young tableau, the BH basis are just the uh, mono, uh, monomial, uh, monomials of the spin product. This is, a, uh, this is an example to explain how to construct uh, the BH basis at dimension seven. Uh, this two young uh, this two young tableau, uh, young tableau is a H basis and a BH basis. We can uh, uh, easily write down their expression. Uh, actually, these two uh, since these two bases are uh, Lorentz tensor, so they are, they are uh, uh, different uh, Lorentz conjugation. Uh, actually, we only uh, only chose one uh, Lorentz conjugation uh, is is fine. In all, uh, so in order to systematically construct the BH basis, we should uh, uh, we, we we can uh, we should define the convention of the uh, Lorentz index uh, construction. The convention is that uh, is that we uh, we rotate the B Young tableau by uh, pi degrees and glue it with H with the H Young tableau to uh, to form a uh, Lorentz scalar. The two box glued at the at the same co uh, column re represent uh, uh, the contraction between the corresponding uh, spinners. Then the BH basis can be uh, constructed through through this way. We define this convention is, uh, is for the computer can quickly construct the BH basis. So yeah. <clears throat> With the simplified BH basis, um, um, uh, any uh, polynomial of spin product can systematically are uh, decomposed into the BH basis. Uh, uh, the, uh, the proceeding is uh, illustrated in this diagram. Um, and the BH basis construct from above the proceeding and uh, actually uh, do not contain the momentum P1 and the momentum stem S, S23. This is a constraint from the momentum conservation and the P1 uh, uh, on shell and P1 on shell and the momentum P1 on shell condition. So in order to decompose the uh, De decompose any polynomial into the BH basis, all the momentum P1 and uh, uh, minus stem S S23 in this polynomial should be replaced by by the uh, by the um, uh, uh, momentum conservation and P1 on shell condition. Then uh, then it's uh, that spinner co contraction pattern should be uh, adjusted by a, a scoring identity to be consistent with the. Uh, the BH Young Tableau con uh, contracting pattern. Uh, then uh, repeat S23 replacement and spinal uh, contraction adjustment adjustment until uh, no S S23 exists in this uh, polynomial. Fi finally, we can we, we can get the correct uh, decomposition of any polynomial. Then the coordinate of any polynomial in BH uh, space can be obtained, and the linear correlation can be determined. So the only problem is 
Now, we know how to decompose the, the polynomial into B H bits. Now, the only problem is how to systematically construct the, the redundant and the complete CF bits that are always contain complete set of Lewis dimension empty bits. We found that all possible empty bits actually can be classified by a set of massive polarization intensive polar configuration, epsilon S, SI, LI. Uh, this is uh, epsilon, uh, this is epsilon SI, LI definition. L is the number of left-handed spinners in the polarization tensor. A different value of LI represents different polarization tensor configuration. And we also found that uh, a complete set of bases with one kind of uh, polarization, polarization tensor configuration can also uh, can also be constructed by the SU2R and the UN Young Tableau. Here we use a set of L value to level this, this set of bases. So the CF bases can be obtained by finding all the set all the sets of bases with the different polarization tensor configuration. Uh, yeah, this is the def definition. So um so so that uh, ob ob obviously that the CF bases uh, contain a complete set of low bases dimension empty bases because uh, because CF contain all the possible all the possible configure uh, con uh amplitude basis with with different uh, with different uh, uh um, polarization tensor configuration. Then after uh construct uh, uh the CF basis, we can uh, decompose them through this uh, pro proceeding uh, as discussed before from dimension low to high and eliminate eliminate the linear. Uh, correlation base fi and finally a complete uh, set of lowest dimension amplitude can be obtained and then and, and, and it can be mapped into the vehicle operator basis. This is an example to construct a two formula to scale uh, to scalar operator basis at dimension five, six, seven, seven. And uh, so uh, we, we should first construct the complete set a set of BH basis at dimension five and seven through the through the Yang tableau here, the number prime represent the uh, Lorentz index of the uh, of the uh, polarization tensor uh, structure. Then we construct the CF basis, the CF basis from uh, dimension five to seven by Yang tableau. Uh, we should include all the possible polarization tensor configuration allowed by the dimension. We found that there are uh, five polarization uh, configuration. Then um. Then we uh, decompose the CF basis from the uh, dimension uh, five to seven and remove the redundant basis. Then we, we can we can get uh, the lowest dimension basis. We find that uh, we we get the correct uh, uh, correct two dimension five operator basis as, as we discussed before. As this as we said before, with this uh, theory, uh, the computer uh, can systematically can systematically uh, construct um, by the um, by uh, by the uh, by by the computer. Uh, this uh, th uh, these are the computer. Uh, these are the complete set of four uh, four W operator bases as the dimension six constructed by the computer. Okay, that's it's very very efficient. We don't need to write write down the operator bases by hand, so it's it's really powerful. Okay, uh, now uh, how to uh, uh, deal with the identical particle. Contract and uh, actually uh, uh, it can also be done by uh, systematically. And um, for an identical particle, the amplitude should be, uh, should be totally um, symmetric on this, uh, on, on this N boson uh, permutation. Um, for the N identical bobions, the amplitude basis should be totally anisymmetric. For example, for three uh, identical bosons, the amplitude should, should be in the total symmetric representation. Uh, like, uh, uh, this is the Yang diagram of the, of the permutation of the permutation symmetry S3. In order to get the amplitude basis in the correct S3 representation, S3 representation, we, uh, we first find the uh, matrix M. Uh, imagine M of this uh, of this representation in the space of the uh, amplitude in the space of the amplitude basis. 
uh, we can use uh, yeah, um, uh, we can use the young operator to uh, we can use the young operator to act on the operator basis. Uh, then we, we can get uh, then we can get the um, uh, uh, this uh, the to, uh, the matrix of the total symmetric representation of the S S three of S three. Then uh, then the matrix eigenvector with non-zero uh, eigenvalue. Are the amplitudes are the amplitude in the uh, total symmetric S three representation? So, so uh, uh, through this procedure, uh, we can uh, fully uh, solve the identical uh, problem. Yeah, the amplitude basis. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the summary. We propose a theory, a general theory that uh, can fully solve the problem. A uh, problem of the a massive fields operator co construction. And uh, based on this theory, the computer program can automatically construct all the operators of massive basis with any, with any spin. So uh, that's all, this, this is my, uh, all the content of my talk. <laughs>